Unfortunately, the idiots, if you will only have learned what has been taught to you in the schools, unless you do research by yourselves, you will be ignorant creatures who will destroy themselves. But I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. That's right. You know something? They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table and figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. They don't want that. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers workers people who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork and just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay the longer hours the reduced benefits the end of overtime and the vanishing pension that disappears the The third thing we should warn you about it's the media programming you will see that in the houses there are electronic devices transmitting moving images and all kind of programs you will soon realize that the people spend most of their times watching at these screens. Be careful, unless you want to become a cattle. Don't do like them. And now, I will tell you why. These devices are used by the elites to achieve basically three goals. The first one, is to distract you. The TV is a great invention, very useful for the elites, since they can achieve to have all the population distracted, staring at a screen entertained with a virtual reality, which will ensure that you don't pay attention to the real world. Your distraction give the elites the chance to exploit you. But you people sit there day after day, night after night, all ages, colors, creeds. We're all you know. You're beginning to believe the illusions we're spinning here. You're beginning to think that the tube is reality and that your own lives are unreal. You do whatever the tube does. Tube. You ain't like the tube. You raise your children like the tube. You even think like the tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are... The second goal of the TV is to misinform you. Through movies, news and documentaries, the elites will give you a fake view of the world you live in. They don't want you to understand the reality, and therefore, they will implant in your mind lies and propaganda in order to turn you into an ignorant, submissive citizen, unable to comprehend the world around him, and unable to become aware of his condition of slave. So if you want the truth, go to your gurus. Go to yourselves, because that's the only place you're ever going to find any real truth. <laughs> but man, you're never going to get any truth from us. We'll tell you anything you want to hear, we lie. Another application of the TV will be to bombard you with images that will implant in your mind values, complexes and aspirations that will turn you into a superficial and stupid human being. Through the TV and the media, you will be programmed like a robot to develop behaviors that benefits the elites. You will be persuaded to spend your wealth in things that you don't need. You will be brainwashed to feel unhappy with yourself so that you will spend all your life looking yourself on the mirrors. Instead of looking the world you live in, you will be implanted needs that will keep you focused in irrelevant things that mean nothing in the scheme of the entire world. Another thing the elites will do is to use propaganda, lies, and false flag terror attacks to try to implant in your mind hatred towards other fellow human beings. The elites have created an unfair economical system that only benefits a few, and to prevent the masses from raising against them, they will try to keep you divided and confronted with each other. Be careful, and be aware of the intentions of the countless messages promoting hatred, that will bombard you since the first day you will be born. The strength of the elites, lies precisely on your hatred towards your fellow human beings. Now to balance the scale, I'd like to talk about some things that bring us together. Things that point out our similarities instead of our differences. Because that's all you ever hear about in this country, is our differences. That's all the media and the politicians are ever talking about, the things that separate us. Things that make us different from one another. That's the way the ruling class operates in any society. They try to divide the rest of the people. They keep the lower and the middle classes fighting with each other so that they, the rich, can run off with all the fucking money. Fairly 
very simple thing happens to work. Do you know anything different? That's what they're going to talk about. Race, religion, ethnic and national background, jobs, income, education, social status, sexuality. Anything you can do, keep us fighting with each other so that they can... Finally, you will live in a society that will surround you with countless distractions.